Darwin Ortiz is widely recognized as the world's foremost card manipulator and expert on card cheating. On this video, he reveals the techniques being used today by top card cheats throughout the world, just as he does for his casino clients on five continents. So I just opened a brand new deck of cards. I removed the jokers. And because it is a brand new deck of cards, you'll see that they are in exact numerical order. They always come that way from the factory. They run ace through king of hearts, ace through king of clubs, king through ace of diamonds, king through ace of spades, with the ace of hearts on top and the ace of spades on the bottom. So since they're still in order, before we do anything else, I think we ought to shuffle several times to break up that sequence. And I will shuffle several times to make sure that they are thoroughly mixed. See, after you shuffle, you should always cut the cards. If you play casino blackjack, I'm sure you've seen the dealer cut the deck like that. Oh, I'm sorry, we still have the same card on top of the deck. We still have the ace of hearts on top of the deck. So I'll give the deck a cut to bury that ace of, well, actually, this does give you an idea of the possibilities because not only do we still have the same card on top, we still have the same card on the bottom, and we still have the cards in exactly the same order, which is running ace through king of hearts, ace through king of clubs, king through ace of diamonds, king through ace of spades. A bottom deal. Naturally, the cheat has controlled a slug of desirable cards to the bottom. In this case, we're talking about the four aces. Let's try a five-handed game. You can see the aces are no longer on the bottom because they're now in my poker hands. I'll place a group of black spot cards on top of the deck and a royal flush and hearts on the bottom. In the various forms of stud poker, the whole cards are dealt face down, but the other cards are snapped face up as they're dealt. This requires a completely different technique of bottom dealing. Here, I'm bottom dealing all the cards in the turnover fashion, so that every time you see a black card, you know I must be dealing off the top. Every time you see a royal flush card, you know I must be dealing off the bottom. Even with a white bordered deck, it's a move that would fly in any game. A bottom dealer can shuffle and still maintain his slug on the bottom. But then another player gets to cut the cards, which in theory would bury the aces in the middle. In this case, however, they're still on the bottom, ready to be dealt. Any time the dealer knows there's a desirable card on top of the deck, he can withhold that card from the other players and reserve it for himself by means of a second deal. The ace of spades is still on top. These cards were all pulled from directly under the ace, from the second from top position. If we turn the deck face up, it's easy to see how dealing deuces allows the dealer to keep the ace on top until he wants to deal it, rather than delivering it to whichever player should have received it. The most legendary of all crooked dealing techniques is the center deal. In effect, it's a combination of false deal and method of beating the cut. When the opponent cuts the deck, the four queens get buried in the center. This doesn't perturb the cheat because he's planning to deal them directly from the center. The cheat deals his opponent's cards off the top, but takes his own directly from the center. So few card manipulators have ever mastered this extraordinarily difficult technique that it has achieved almost mythical status. The three of diamonds makes us a poor five card stud hand. But the player merely peeks at his whole card in the standard manner, and now he's paired his up card. The process of checking one's whole card is perfect cover for the switch. 
Before leaving the game of blackjack, let's take a quick look at a switch that exploits the free drinks most casinos serve at the tables. I've been dealt a 16. With a hand this bad, I might decide that I need a drink. See how much better things can look after a drink? Here is an unusual and little-known switch for the practice of cutting for high card for money. The cheat has previously stolen an ace out of the deck. The sucker is allowed to shuffle. In reality, the cheat would not reveal his card yet. Now he reveals an ace. We don't want to leave you with the impression that every card cheat you might encounter can perform everything you've seen on this tape. In fact, you'll never find yourself playing cards with anyone who's mastered all of them, unless you play cards with Darwin Ortiz. Card cheats know that mastery of just one or two methods is enough to ensure a good income. It's also true that you'll probably never encounter anyone in a game who can perform these various techniques as well as Mr. Ortiz does. On the other hand, where a card cheat would perform these moves under cover of shade, that's the cheat's term for a distraction, we've allowed the unblinking eye of the camera to focus in on each move close up. Where a card cheat might perform two or three second or bottom deals in a round of play, we've taken each move to the limit to give you as many opportunities as possible to study it. While in actual play there's never any advance warning that cheating is about to take place, we've given you a chance to view these methods knowing full well the trickery was about to occur. Well, now you have a much better idea of what you're up against. So keep your eyes open, and good luck.